All right, look at me now. You got your face game, face cam box, and you got your gameplay. <laughs> Hey everyone, Adam here and welcome back around to a new video for you guys today and today guys I'm gonna teach you guys how to record your gameplay on Roblox so you can upload videos and do a lot of cool stuff So I'm gonna show you guys all the software you guys need before we begin So first thing you need is OBS you can find OBS simply by typing on Google type OBS and then go to open broadcasting home and just hit the download button on OBS studio very simple next um you need a gameplay so you just have roblox all right have a roblox up gameplay then you need photoshop but really you don't need photoshop you can use something very simple i'm going to use photoshop because why not I, I like it all right and that's pretty much it you can do so first thing you want to do is open up obs studio install obs studio and have it open up you will have a blank screen when you open it up. It's going to be like this. Blank screen, nothing on it. You got to set up, plain little everything. Now, this video is not the settings video. It will be a different video I'm going to create. So, I'm sorry about that. If you, This is going to teach you guys how to record your gameplay. How to set up a great setup what I have right now on screen for you guys. So, first thing you do when you're on Source 1, you can just right click it, rename it. Uh, rename and just name it Roblox so it gives you playing Roblox all right name it Roblox so now you got your Roblox seat all right and now you see this little plus button you're gonna click that plus button and now you want to go and click click monic uh, display capture so click on display capture and then when you're on display capture click OK and that is gonna create you like a display capture now I use display capture or you can use game capture. Game capture is a lot easier, but I like disc I like uh display capture. Alright. So and then you click OK. And then same thing you do on uh game capture, right? Click on and then click game capture and then click Roblox on that game capture setting. So like game capture, okay, um capture any screen and then window, it will say Roblox, so choose Roblox and bam, you're done that. Just a little heads up if you're going to use game capture. This quickly, so just right click, transform, and then stretch to screen. So hit that, bam, you got to stretch to screen. You got your little stretch and everything's there. Good. Now you need a face cam for your gameplay. If you're not going to do webcam, you can just skip this part. But if you're going to use webcam, it's a lot more professional. You'll get more, I'm joking, <laughs> but you get more stuff. So first thing first, I'm going to go to Photoshop. And then you want to go File. Hit new. Um, you can create it really anything you want. It doesn't really have to be any type of file. Just you're gonna be just creating a good square. You're gonna hit the create button. It can be just like this. All right. It can just be what I have on the screen. Okay. And then you want to click on that rectangle button. On that rectangle button. On that little thing right there. If I clicked on, you just see, you saw what I clicked on. You just want to make a square, like a rectangle, like good enough rectangle for your gameplay. So. Uh, I would say what I look like. Let's, let's just look at mine for a second here and zoom it out. Just figure out what you think. I think that will look cool for my gameplay. Very good screen. You can go edit and free transform path. You can transfer it, make it small, or make it big. So you can do that stuff to it. So then I want this to be all all gone. So I'm gonna go up to fill, and then you can drop it all the way down. Bam! It's gone. That's all you need. <laughs> We're done, guys. All right, we'll go to file. I'm joking. <laughs> so, you want to click right click, and then you want to go click Blender up blending options. On blending options, click on stroke, and on stroke, you see that black screen. You want to make it outside. And uh, let's just say you want it you do, uh pink for this one because you like pink. All right, and we can make this side. You can make the size. Eh, you can make the side like eight all right and then you're done basically you're just copy these settings i just have right on screen and you should be set to go and this just hit go cap and bam there is your face cam a little box <laughs> like i create i bought my i bought all my stuff i make so i don't have to do all this but there you go there's your little face cam box you can do more bling options and choose what you want but i'm making it simple as usual and just create a face cam box all right and then click file click save Name is face cam. I call a lot of face cams, so I'll do that. 
and just store it anywhere you want, make a PNG out of it, maybe you want to edit it up, make it fancy, your choice, and then go click PNG, and hit save, and then click OK. <gasps> okay, then you're done, and then go back into OBS, and now let's add your face scan box. First, you want to click that little plus button, and then you want to click that image button, all right? And then say, say, call it face scan, or something like that. No, not face scan, you want to call it, uh, Let's just call your face uh, square. Well, what do you call it? Face cam, face square. I'll call it face square because you want to name it. Always want to name your stuff. You never want to have to leave it blank. You want to hit browse, desktop, and then you want to scroll up to face cam. Here's your face cam you made. I practiced. And then, bam, there's your little face cam. There's your little thing you're going to use for your videos. And then you can, these little options, never, if I didn't say this, these little things up top there, you can um, like move it, like pull it, adjust it with the red things, and adjust it. And then let me pull it like over here, there we go. And then you can move it up there and bam, and then make it big. Bam, simple, there you go. There's your face cam box, very simple. Bam, next, you'll need your face cam. If you have a face cam, all right. Let me quickly turn off my face cam. All right, so to add your face cam, all you have to do is hit that plus button again, video capture device, and then you can just create it. And then bam, hi! And then click OK. There you go, there's your little face cam and all this stuff like that. And then you can drag it down, hold that little red thing, see those little red things, and then you want to adjust it. So drag this, bam, adjust it to the where you want it, and then just pull it out as further as you want as your face cam goes bam and now you want to do this control and alt do control and alt and then call these red things and just do that see that cool little trick i just showed you that's so cool and then you want to just make it so it just it's inside the purple box and bam oh looking good looking looking spicy there we go and then you got your face cam box, you got your webcam, um, bam, you're set to go out, record and record your gameplay, all right? All right, so after you got all your face cam and all this stuff like that, I'm gonna swap back over to my webcam over by- All right, so now you got everything in, you got your face cam and that little screen, my, I only have one face cam, looks, I, I can't find my little webcam, I'm sorry, but imagine that my face cam, my face is in that um, square, so. So now you need to do is go to Roblox, all right? Go log into Roblox. Now, what I would consider you doing, I think, but you can use video, you can use monitor capture if you want. If you're gonna do like other things, like show stuff, you can use um, display capture, but let's use game capture, all right? Let's just use game capture. If you wanna click game capture, and I'll show you how to use game capture, all right? It's the first thing you wanna get into your game. So let's hop into a game, let's hop into our server. Hit open Roblox and let's connect to our player and let's get inside this game. So we're inside our game right now and now we can do this. So go back into OBS and bam, there's my thing. So you want to do the game capture, you want to capture picture screen, right? Go down to Roblox, click Roblox and then click OK. And then you want to go right click again, go to transfer and go to stretch to screen. Bam, there is your stuff. Bam, you're set to record and everything. And all you need is display capture, you use display capture, game capture, you got a face cam, you got your video capture device. Now, before I end off this video, I wanna tell you guys another thing that you should check out. If you go to Streamlabs, this is an awesome software. All right, I'm not gonna open up my dashboard, and I wanna show you guys all my stuff. So if you go get Streamlabs, it's an awesome thing. You can do alerts, you can do things. If you're gonna stream using this software, you can stream what I just showed you. You can use the same software that I just showed you too. So I would recommend using Streamlabs OBS. You can get alerts, you can get my wheel I use on stream. You can get, uh, you can get like a whole bunch of stuff over there. So I would recommend using Streamlabs. All right, I would recommend, very recommend using Streamlabs. That's what I use in my streams. So if you ever want to know how I get these stream pop-ups, how do I get these alerts pop-ups, I use Streamlabs OBS. So if you want to make a separate video of Streamlabs OBS, I can make a separate video of just Streamlabs OBS. Just let me know down below, and I'll teach you guys how to throw those uh, alerts in there. So, it'll be a quick video on that too.
So, now you're set to go. All right, look at me now. You got your face game, you got your face cam box, and you got your gameplay. That's all you need. And then you go to file. Make sure you just set this option first. I'll do one setting for you. Go to audio and make sure these are enabled. Your mic and your speakers enabled so you have everything set for recording. And then you wanna hit that little start record button. So when you hit start record, just basically hit start record, bam, 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 and then stop recording. Now, if you go to file and go to settings, so you can see where your stuff is stored by just looking at record path, go to op output and hit recording, and you can see your record path where that your recording is stored. So if I go up here, settings, and then go to videos, then bam, there's your video right there. Piece of cake. You're done. You're set to go. You got your gameplay already set. All right. And then I'll make another video about the settings, you guys, and everything like that. So stay tuned for that again. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope this was helpful. If you did, uh, drop a like, drop a subscribe. Thank you guys so much for coming out to this video. Make sure you do it on all notifications. I stream every night at, at 9, uh, 10 p.m., close to 12 o'clock. I stream lots of Roblox show break and a lot of awesome stuff. So, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on our next video. Bye for now.